Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Grace. Schizophrenia and Grace, but before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I've been around a few preludes in my years. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, has got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a uh, skeleton key. Hello there, my name is Robert it's Francis. Two, the old you still on my own play. Schizophrenia YouTube channel. The companion. Me and the bird. No bird. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. There's the bird. This is the cut of my jib right Mike here. Mike the Wren. of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 Book two, years. Book the basics. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Schizophrenia, I thought everybody should know. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. The companion. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Advancing down Thank the you gym. for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. I think the universe is graceful. And uh, when we uh, attune ourselves with the universal grace, life is, uh, life is interesting, perhaps elegant. Um, grace is uh, living without uh, tons of uh, personal preoccupation. We all get preoccupied in our own mind, right? Especially with schizophrenia, we get all sorts of preoccupied with go what's going on in our ears. But living grace gracefully is uh, uh, pushes back against such a preoccupation, an internal preoccupation. Is being able to know when to laugh, when to cry, uh, when to be neutral, when to be joyous, when to be sorrowful. Um, it's a it's a uh, an attunement to a larger whole, I think, and uh, it's elegant. It really is. Um, sometimes we need to get out of our own uh, head somewhat, in, in terms of especially with schizophrenia, because it's a primary thought disorder. So primarily, we're preoccupied with our thoughts. But grace is uh, taking life as it comes, uh, accepting it, and uh, rolling with it. Uh, being flexible. So, if you can tap into a, uh, a sense of uh, grace, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, the best of stuff sometimes. The old skeleton key. The old locks used to be skeleton, skeleton keys. You used to put them in the old locks. I miss those days. And then uh, the one key could open many, many doors. The old skeleton key, you might not even know what I'm talking about. And that would uh, date me. All right, guys. Have some grace, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.